everybody. I am tired this morning. It's like 6.30 in the morning. I'm trying to get back into getting up at 6, but obviously there was a time change. So I have to like readapt because technically this would be like five in the morning that I'm up right now. My body is just confused, but it is 6.30. I have an event at 9 a.m. this morning with Innisfree, which I'm really excited about. They're having like a little breakfast and we're learning about their green tea collection, which I love their green tea collection. So I'm very excited. My skincare lineup is massive. I'm putting so much stuff on it, but whatever. <laughs> Okay, time to wash our face. I use the Clear Stem Gentle Clean Cleanser, which I really like. Then I'm gonna go in with the Indie Lee and just spray my face. In what order, please let me know what order you should apply these in. I have vitamin C and then I also have my Hylo B serum. I just got this in um, as like a little sample. I ordered the SkinCeuticals vitamin B serum, which I used to really like. I just need that extra hydration right now with my retinol. My skin's super dry, so. I am using this right now while I'm waiting. What order do you apply these in? I feel like this one first because it's more of a water texture and this is more of a cream. Um, so I'm gonna do that, but let me know if I'm wrong. Eye cream, I'm gonna use the Bosha Peptide Trio Eye Cream. Moisturizer, I'm gonna use Avene Tolerance Control Soothing Skin Recovery Cream because my skin's super dry and irritated. I used to love this so much. I used a whole bottle of it. Like, I can't figure out when I did, but I know I did. And then sunscreen, right now I'm just using the SkinCeuticals Physical Fusion SPF 50 Tinted Sunscreen. Let's wash our face and get this done with. I'm gonna speed you all up so it's not a super long, super long segment. <laughs> I just finished getting ready for the event. So I'll show you guys my outfit. I'm not fully dressed though. I feel like I need, I don't have my boots on. The boots like complete the outfit and they're not on. So anyways, I'm just wearing this green knit sweatshirt from Aritzia because Innisfree is like, their color is green. So I was like, I'm gonna be on brand. <laughs> and then I'm wearing this black skirt with tights and I'm gonna wear um, knee high boots with this in my black coach bag. It'll be cute, chic. I feel like I should eat something. It is a breakfast event, but like, I'm like one of those people like, I don't like to come unprepared, you know? I love food. I don't wanna like not have any food. So I think I'm just gonna make a smoothie quick because smoothie's like a meal, but I'll still have enough room in me to eat something else. You know, if they're serving full breakfast, I'll still be eating, you know? So I'm gonna make a smoothie quickly. Just my green smoothie, I feel like I've shown it before, but that's what we're gonna make, oh my God. Anyways, I was just watching one of my old vlogs, which is always a throwback down memory lane. Um, somebody commented on it that one of my vlogs from four years ago was recommended to them. So then I watched it and I was like, wow, look at me at 23. Just living the life, short bleach blonde hair. Who is she? Makes me wanna go blonde again. I was like, why does that suit me? <laughs> I look great with bleach blonde hair, what the hell? Anyways, I am getting highlights at the end of the month, so we are going a bit blonder. I'm feeling like I like had a blonde and then I was like, I don't really like it. It's a different era now. I wanna be blonde again. Not like bleach blonde, but like beachy, beachy blonde. Gonna make my smoothie quick. I'm just gonna have banana, pineapple, spinach, protein, collagen, spirulina, and oat milk in it. Oh my, You're ripping the head right off of it. Annoying. Absolutely tragic. T 
Cheers. I love adding spirulina because look at the pretty green color it is. Like I wish you guys could see it in real life. It's almost like a blue green from the spirulina. And the color is just, it's so good. Yum. Normally I pour it into a fancy cup, but we're in a hurry this morning. So we're just gonna drink it out of the blender cup. Anyways, I'll see y'all when we get to the event. I think it was at the event, but I've been back for a little bit now. I've just been doing like chores this afternoon. Nothing crazy. I didn't have like a lot of work stuff I need to get done specifically today. So I've just been kind of chilling a bit. I feel like mentally, <laughs> but I'm just putting my laundry in. I'm going to go take Millie for another walk. She wants to go back outside again. It's so cold and windy out today, so I'm dreading going out, but what can you do? I've just been doing more decluttering of my space and just getting rid of some stuff. I just feel like I have, when I have too much like stuff that I don't wear, I just am like, why is this here? Or like products I don't use. I just feel like it's like hoarding in a way and I'm like, I'm not a hoarder and I just want to get rid of it and allow space for new things and also just less things. My mom is coming to visit me this weekend because it's her birthday weekend. We're going out for dinner and stuff like that. But we're also, I wanna see if she'll help me go through my storage locker because I wanna, you know, just go through that and rehome some things. So many clothes, so little time. All I do is laundry. Perfecto. Morning, everybody happy Wednesday it is the next day today I'm about to just go and do a workout my energy is a bit low that time of the month where my energy is you know not as high as it is in the beginning of the month but I'm fine we're gonna go push through it I'm not gonna do anything like insanely crazy I have my first F45 class back tomorrow, which I'm really excited about, but I feel like it's gonna kick my ass. So I'm just gonna take it easy today. I'm gonna walk on the treadmill, I think, for like 10 minutes maybe, just like a bit longer than normal, and then just do a couple leg exercises or something like that. Nothing, nothing insane today, because I feel like tomorrow is really gonna, really gonna push me. We're gonna head there, and I'll see you guys when I get back. I'm just shooting a little what I eat in a day reel for today, so I've been filming that this morning and just like throughout my day. <laughs> Do up my hoodie because I'm always cold. But yes, let's go.
guys, it is later now. I just ordered a couple things from Aritzia, mainly just because I wanted to get these jeans. I saw some people online talking about these jeans. They're the Levi's ribcage straight leg ankle jeans, and they fit so well. I got them off of Aritzia, um, and they fit perfect in the waist they like look nice on your butt and the length for us short girls is literally perfect i'm five foot two and a half and it comes right to my ankle like the length could not be better <laughs> i'm literally so happy about these and they just are really the a perfect fit i was worried they might be too small i got these in a 23 i'm normally a 24 and i sized down because sometimes i find levi's don't fit in the waist when i get a 24 they are like I would say like a little tight just in here, but not like uncomfortably tight, just form fitting. And I feel like, you know, they will stretch out with wear. You don't need to wash your Levi's all the time. So you can just like wear them in throughout the day and they'll probably get looser. So I love these. I feel like they fit perfect. And I wanted a new light wash pair of jeans. Now I'm kind of curious what like the mid wash would look like in these. Cause this is like a perfect fit, you know? Anyways, I'll show you guys the other items that I picked up. Okay, and then next up, I just got this poplin top. I don't have a poplin top. <laughs> and I really like this. I saw this one online with like the brown stripes and it just kind of spoke to me because I really like brown and neutrals. I'm trying to get kind of more neutral clothing items just because I feel like I get the most wear out of them and I just gravitate more towards neutrals. So I really liked this and I feel like this will be like a staple for me. It fits perfect. I like the length. I like that it's shorter in the front and longer in the back. I think it looks really good with jeans like this or it would look really good with denim shorts. Just a really nice little piece. And I really like this a lot. I feel like it fits perfect. It looks good with the jeans. Five out of five. <laughs> I love it. Okay, then last but not least, I just picked up this little cardigan. I have this in gray, but the full-length version, and this is like the waist version, which I really like for the spring. I like that it's not as long. It looks really good with the jeans and like a little white tank top or a t-shirt. I just love this for like a layering piece. You could also wear this like over dresses in the summer, and I think it would look really cute if it's like a little bit of a colder evening. And I used to have a cardigan in this color, if you guys remember, but shrunk in the wash because I put it in the dryer. So we've learned our lesson and <laughs> this one will definitely not be going in the dryer. And I just think that it looks perfect. Um, this is such like a meat outfit with like some Birkenstock clogs, okay? Just picture it like casual girl chic, you know? That's me in a nutshell. Comfy cash, all I wear. And this is perfect. I literally love it. I think that's my favorite Aritzia haul I've had in a while. And now I'm like tempted to peruse what other colors these jeans come in because these fit me so well. And I feel like I want to like exit all my old jeans and just keep these. Like these are like a perfect freaking fit. Levi's just know what they're doing. They know what they're doing. <laughs> Can anyone else who has a corgi just report that they always sleep like this? I think it's called the wall climber. <laughs> and it's one of her favorite um, sleeping positions. This or she's like fully on her back, but it's always contorted, little twist here, legs on the wall. She loves it. <laughs> Makes me laugh every single time. I'm starving. It's later again. I've just been doing some editing and I took Millie another walk. It's only like 5.30, so it's a little bit early for me to eat dinner. I'm typically like a 6 p.m. dinner kind of gal. Um, but I'm really, really hungry, so I'm just gonna eat now. I already meal prepped like yesterday. So when I cooked my dinner, I just ended up having a bunch of leftovers, which is always a bonus. So I have chicken and rice here, which I will microwave for my dinner. I'm gonna fry up some green beans. I had that yesterday and it was so good. So I just fried green beans with some olive oil and lemon pepper. Guys, if y'all are sleeping on lemon pepper and you like to cook, you need to get some lemon pepper. Cause lemon pepper, and garlic salt on like all veggies. Literally delicious. You guys need to try it ASAP because it's so good. I'm going to fry up some green beans and then I'll microwave this and we'll have my dinner. And I feel like by the time I'm done, it'll be basically six and then I'm eating at six. I also feel like I need like a um, detox from my phone. 
I've been on my phone way too much today. Like there's some days that I feel like I'm in a hole of my cellular device and I just like want to get out of it so badly, but I'm just like sucked into it and it overwhelms me. So sometimes I'm like, your girl needs a break from her cellular device. I wish that sometimes I could just like toss this thing, but like it's a lot of my work is on here. So I can't do that. I can't do that. Like I'm pretty sure probably all of us on here are like addicted to our cellular devices. I don't know why I'm calling it a cellular device either. It's weird of me. And I wanna read some more because I haven't read much today. So I'm gonna eat my dinner and read more of my Harry Potter book because I'm trying to finish it this week and I'm not even halfway through yet. So I don't know the odds. We're halfway through the week and I'm not halfway through my book. So <laughs> the odds are not in my favor right now. <laughs> lighting is terrible. I need to go this way. <laughs> Being backlit by those lights is just not a vibe. I just want to share out a snack because I bought these at the grocery store. So good. Dark chocolate, which already, boom, love it. I love dark chocolate and it's got like caramel pieces and like nuts and crunchy goodness. Delicious. So I had that as a little snack. I'm about to start getting ready for bed now because your girl likes to be in bed super early because I'm like an old lady at heart. I was going to plan out my workout outfit though for tomorrow because I got F45 tomorrow. My first class. I'm nervous. I'm always nervous in like group settings that I'm going to be like lost and confused or something, but I'm sure I'll be fine. I'm just, you know, doubting myself a little bit, but like... I just need to act confident and I'll be good. Question is, what do I want to wear? I'm thinking just all black. You always feel confident in all black outfit. <laughs> these leggings, I love these leggings. They're the story leggings and I'll probably just wear them with a black sports bra. This one also from story. We're going for a full, just plain black fit with some cute Nike sneakers in color a day. You know, like those like nerves when you're doing a new class? Like I feel that all the time. Like whenever I'm going to a new class with new people and I'm always like, I always feel like in class settings, so at least with things like F45, even though I'm sure this is not the case, I always feel like when I go there that everyone is gonna know each other <laughs> and I'm gonna be like the new kid in school. Do you know what I mean? Where you walk in, they're like, oh, she's new. That's like the vibe that I always get nervous about. And it, it never really is that way. I think it's just in my head. And we just need to act confident and not doubt ourselves. I'm gonna sign off for this vlog, but I will catch you guys in my next one. I will probably start filming again tomorrow, just so I can bring you guys along for a bit of my first F45 class back and let you guys know how that goes if I'm like absolutely dying. I only wanna do it like three times a week because I don't wanna overdo it with the HIT cardio classes because I know it can mess with your like hormone levels and stuff apparently. I don't know if that's true, but I've heard that through the grapevine. Could be wrong, I don't know, but that's just what I heard. So I just don't wanna overdo it. So we're only doing three a week. I feel like F45 is more intense, so I don't ever feel like I, I feel like I don't have to work out as much. I don't think there's like a pressure that you need to be like working out six, seven days a week or something. Three is fine, especially if you're walking and still getting movement in on the other days. I'll see you guys in my next video. I love you all so much, and I hope you guys all have the best day ever. Right, Blind? Say bye-bye.